Hey everyone, it's Friday and my name is Ryan and I thought I'd bring my girlfriend Alexis into the video this week because everyone's been asking a lot of questions about her. So this is Alexis. We are living in San Francisco and we thought, you know, being in this together this week would be a good idea because this week's topic is being comfortable in your own skin, being comfortable out in public, and being visible. And now that we are living in San Francisco, we are much more comfortable being who we are than we were in New York. I was uncomfortable to be with Alexis in public, holding her hand, kissing her, and that sort of thing, because I don't pass 100% of the time as male. A lot of times we get read as ladies, unfortunately. And it's hard like when it's like that because if we're not being seen as a straight couple it could be dangerous in a conservative part of the world as we were on Long Island. I'm a California native so you know I'm not totally new to San Francisco. I actually grew up even more north kind of by Lake Tahoe and it's m actually pretty conservative there too and I you know anyone I knew there who was out as lesbian, gay, trans, bi, anything would get a lot of, you know, hate or discrimination. I was very used to being in, I guess, that sort of environment. And going to New York, it was a little bit different. It was, you know, a bit bigger, just city feel, even in Long Island. So it was a little bit better for me, but you could still feel the conservativeness. Conservativeness. <laughs> it was really hard, at, you know, sometimes, like, if we would go out to lunch or dinner and, you know, we get addressed as ladies, you know, it, it would always put me in a very uncomfortable position because, you know, I would never know what to do if I was supposed to say something to the waitress or waiter or if you know, how to console Ryan because sometimes it would affect him differently and it was a very difficult situation. But, you know, now that we're in San Francisco, you know, there's, it is very non-conservative and there's a lot of weird, awesome things happening all the time. And it's a lot better, you know, we, you just kind of feel more comfortable as soon as you get here. It's just, it's a totally different environment with the way it looks and the people who are here. So it's, you know, it's a really awesome place for anyone who's just even different, not necessarily in the LGBT community. When you first come out, it's harder to be comfortable with yourself. I think you become more and more comfortable as you're out and just being yourself. It's important to be yourself before you get comfortable almost. I know it sounds kind of weird, but in order to get comfortable, you really have to be out and be yourself and experience that, get to know what it's like. As you're out as LGBT, you're going to get a lot of questions, you might get looks. You have to get used to all of these sort of things. You have to know the answers to the questions and once you've sort of memorized all of this and you know exactly what you're going to say, you're going to feel more comfortable because you're not going to go out and be like, oh, these people might ask me these questions or this and that. If you're prepared to answer questions that you may feel that they're, they're offensive, then you know, you'll feel more comfortable anywhere you are, so. And it's important to know that the people that are giving dirty looks or asking weird questions, they're just plain ignorant. If you don't feel comfortable in your own skin because of how society is, please don't take it out on yourself. Live for yourself and not for society. That's the most important thing. Once you start living for yourself, then you're going to feel way more comfortable. It's hard sometimes to not care about what people think, but as you experience being out more and more, you will become way more comfortable, I guarantee it. Alright, that's all we have for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment. And next week is question week, so you can drop any questions you want in the comments and they will be answered next week. And you can also ask some questions for Alexis and let me know if you want her to be in another video. I'm sure you do. And. If you do, I'll have her back in another video soon. So thanks for watching, and I'm glad to be your Friday guy. Bye, everyone. I can see soda can.